So Justice and Correctional Services Minister Ronald Lamola will launch a mass prison screening for the coronavirus at the Johannesburg Correctional Center in the Naturena area. Now, this is in response to the exposure of inmates that face overcrowded prisons across the country and comes after a prison warder tested positive for COVID-19 in the Eastern Cape. Uh, that, of course, is a cause for major concern. Cindy so Siwatala is on the story for us, and she is uh, at that Correctional Services Center uh, to give us a sense of how the mass screening is likely to unfold. Sinister, very good morning to you. So overcrowding, of course, is a major concern insofar as the prison system in our country is concerned. Uh, take us through how this is likely to unfold in the wake of the coronavirus panic. Essentially, about two weeks ago, for our viewers to also remember, uh, when the president had declared South Africa to be operating under the uh, National Disaster Act, the Minister of Correctional Services, shortly after in a, a joint media briefing with various other ministers, said that uh, the prisons would be closed down, meaning people would not be able to come visit their loved ones in order to avert or protect them from outside exposure. But coming back to your question about about how the prison system in our country is overloaded. We know that uh, as of last year, we're standing at 37% of overcrowding, but we know that the president then issued a remittance where specific prisoners were uh, taken out on parole. We know that the likes of Vicky Momberg and Kayak Dagesha were the people that were taken out to alleviate the overburden of the correctional services or the overcrowding, rather. So this, the Minister of Correctional Services, services is going to be doing is to launch a mass screening ourselves also going to be screened before we make our way in you possibly or could have noticed that we're standing outside the prison uh, warders are not taking any chances by letting us in until we've also been screened because we know that should uh, many of the various inmates contract the virus then it will definitely spread like wildfire because of the overcrowding in the prison yeah, and I guess it also raises questions about how different this mass screening will be versus mass screening in any other context, I guess. Definitely. So the first mass screening that we saw that was introduced by the Minister of Health was in the Free State in Bloemfontein. So we saw there that it was held in open. It was held in one of the malls there in Twin City Mall and in various other informal settlements around the Bloemfontein area. So people came there voluntarily to be screened. Here, however, we know that the various inmates will also be screened in a central area. They'll probably be allowed to come in in drips and drabs to be tested and to go back back to their various cells. But how it's going to take place here is still going to be properly ventilated by the minister when he comes. But we do know that the uh, testing or the mass screening rather, if any of the inmates are found to have a high temperature or show some of the symptoms that COVID-19 essentially portrays in a person, then they'll have to be transferred to the closest uh, center, whether it's a, it's a hospital or a clinic in order to be tested to find out if they have the virus, but we're also awaiting more confirmation from the ministry if there's not a tent there set up also where testing can happen after the mass screening. We're not sure, but essentially under normal terms, they'll be transferred elsewhere to be checked. All right, we'll leave it there. Thank you very much for getting us into the picture. Sinisio Twala is our reporter live to us from just outside the Johannesburg Correctional Services Centre.